Kalika, you have a primary lease on a three-bedroom what, apartment or house? It's a townhouse. When did you sign it? In March 31st, 2017. How much is the rent on it? Total rent. Total rent that you're obligated to pay under 1500 And after you moved in, you decided to get a couple of roommates. Correct. And when did you get the first roommate? It was about at the same time as Alexa came in, so May 21st, 2017. And what was the name of the other roommate? Nick. And how much did Nick pay for rent? He paid 500 And how much did Miss King, who came in also in May, how much did she pay? 550 And they signed with you, not with the landlord, but with you, a one-year lease. So I signed a principal lease, and then they were added on the uh, lease as an amendment. In May? In May, correct. So I signed in March and they signed in May. And Miss King gave you security deposit? Correct. How much did she give you? She gave me 550 And what did you do with that money? I kept it. You kept it? And when did Miss King leave? She left mid-November. And did she pay you November's rent? Correct. She did? The yes. answer is yes. And when she moved out, did you do a walkthrough with her of her room? Not with her, no. She already had left. Did you do a walkthrough with the landlord? Yes, at the end of the... Because the lease was expired on March no, 31st. I'm talking... I want to know whether Miss King left her room in good condition. No. She did not? No. What was wrong with it? Well, she, she had a cat, and it made scratches everywhere. It also puked everywhere, and I had to have uh, someone to clean for it. So you had to have the carpet cleaned? Correct. Show me the bill for her room. No, you ordered carpet cleaning for three rooms for $135. Well, it was for the total. I did it at the same time since I uh, no, no, stayed. No. This says carpet cleaning three rooms. She had one room. Correct. And the whole thing was $135. Correct. Where's the rest of her security deposit? Well, she also had um, $300 for a pet deposit that she didn't pay. And then the $200... Where's the rest of her security deposit? She owes you a third of $135 at most. Correct. And I'm going to get to you. I'm going to get to your claim in a second. I just want to know who you are. So far, her share is $45. So you owe her $505 back from her security deposit. Yes. During the term of the lease, while Miss King was there, she told you that she was pregnant. Yes, during the lease. On what month did she tell you that she was pregnant? I think it was October 2017. And that was the first time she told you that she was planning on having a baby? No, she was pregnant. She told me that. When did she tell you? Listen, to, I asked you a question. Maybe I'm not making myself clear. When did she tell you that she was pregnant? In what month? If you don't remember, I, I'll ask her. I don't recall. I told him right after I found out, June 23rd of 2017. Did she tell you when the baby was expected? No. Did you ask her? It's really not my business, so... Well, certainly it's your business, because what you want her to do is you want her to pay rent mm -hmm. December, January, February, March, Correct. and April, five months' rent. She says she told you at the beginning of her pregnancy that she was pregnant. She says you told her, you know, there are no babies here. We don't have babies here. But you had five months' notice that she was going to be leaving when the baby was born right. because she wanted to live with her mother for help. Correct. She told you that. Correct. She told she... you that well in advance of her leaving. That is correct, Your Honor. But she also said that she would find someone to take over her sublet or pay until the end of the... Why didn't Please. you find... Listen to me. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you find someone to take over the sublet that you could live with? Why didn't you advertise? She gave you plenty of notice. Mm -hmm. I'm usually sympathetic with this. She gave you plenty of notice. Five months. And if it were me, because if I'm going to believe you, so far I don't believe a lot because you didn't give her security. You were giving me a lot of baloney about why you kept her security deposit. She gave you five months' notice that because she was pregnant, but she said, I'm going home to live with my mother. Right. And if it were me who lived someplace, I would put an ad on Craigslist, like you mm -hmm. did when you got this roommate, Correct. to find someone else that you would be compatible with, not let her find somebody. No. You would find somebody. Correct. I was willing to do it. And she said she would find someone, so I didn't do it until she said she didn't find anyone. Very good. Your case is dismissed. On your counterclaim, he owes you $505. We're finished. Thank you. I was excuse you, Mr. Fowler.